Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going back to 2019 when I made the trip to Nick's Garage to pick up the J-Heads for the old Doba here. So uh, stay tuned and enjoy. <laughs> So we have made it into Quebec, we're actually into the heart of the city, and uh, Your think, destination is on the left. I think we found our destination on the left. There's Indiano. I have finally made it to Nick's garage, and as you can see behind me is his project Kowalski car, his 70 Challenger. So. Nick is here, he's just over there making a coffee right now and he's going to give us a little bit of a tour of the facility and tomorrow we're actually going to come back because they're going to be actually filming. If you watch the channel you'll see Vasily's girlfriend's engine on the dyno. So tomorrow we are going to be able to sit inside the dyno room and see a couple of poles on that big block Chevrolet. So for now let's take a look around the shop. So one of the things that Nick does is he requests from all of his subscribers to send a flag from the country in which they're from. I'm from New Brunswick, obviously, and I sent him a flag, and there's the flag that I sent him right there. And while we're at it, take a look at Kowalski. Everything is brand new. No bolt has gone untouched. So guys, we have made it here to Nick's Garage and we are inside on a Saturday and this place is bustling with fans. We've got a couple of guys here, we've got Nick here and there's all kinds of people who are hanging around. So we are going to go touch base with uh, George who is the behind the scenes camera guy here at Nick's Garage. So let's go see if we can find George. So ladies and gentlemen, this is George. George is the man behind the camera at Nick's Garage. Thanks George. We're looking forward to hearing some noises today. Yeah, loud ones. Loud ones. Pink ones. Loud pink and purple ones. <laughs> it looks like Beyonce's engine. In there. So anyways, we're going to be into uh, the uh, dino room very shortly to take a look at the pink Chevrolet Big Block. So stay tuned for that. Lost the sponge. That's right. I didn't give it to you. Okay. So you're getting the hands-on action here, buddy. I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, oh, good we got, man, uh, good man. We got Jason here from New Brunswick. Yeah, good, good. He's the man who sent us the New Brunswick uh, flag. Oh, yeah? Oh, you're our flag. You drove all the way here He's to come and see this. Yeah. Well, I come here to pick up a set of heads. Perfect. But I figured yeah. I would get some Mark, footage nice while I meet you. Mark, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, okay, cool. So, guys, I've introduced you to the man behind the camera. Now it's time to introduce you guys to the man in front of the camera. So let me introduce you guys to Nick. How are you doing? Nick. Jason, how are you doing? Great to meet you. I'm glad we were able to make it here to pick up these heads, and okay. I'm thankful that you're allowing me to come into your garage with my camera why and not? do a little bit of recording. Of course, why not? So, Everybody wants to come in here, take pictures and uh, videos, whatever you wish. The place is open to you. You guys, if you want to show your, your clients, whatever, this is what we have. It's not a studio. It's just a normal shop. We do uh, daily repairs, and we do a lot of muscle cars. And of course, uh, we do some dyno testing on a lot of engines. We do engine building. And uh, fortunately, uh, we're doing pretty good with it, and uh, uh, we'll keep going with what we're doing. And of course, uh, we're getting so many flags coming in every week, we have to post them up. And uh, especially last night, I wanted to stay and uh, 
put up some flags that didn't have a chance because we had to do some other things. Then of course, uh, uh, you know, we get parts every day, building cars for clients every day here. And uh, it's a zoo here today. Of course, it's a Saturday, as you can see. We're always doing something, you know? Yeah, well, I've already made reference. We've always before, got something to do. Before I introduce you, I, I showed the, the crowd of guys that were in here in the shop. Oh, yeah. Of course, some of them have dispersed by now. Yes. Uh, and I've already taken some video of all these flags. And Nick asks all of his, cust uh, all of his viewers to send flags in from the country that they watch the channel from. Exactly. So yes. much like I do with license plates, guys, if you haven't sent me in your license plates yet, now's the time to do it. Address is down below. That's right. Well, it all started from one guy from Australia stating that, uh, you know, we had the a few flags only. Then they, uh, they started uh, comments on YouTube saying, how come we don't uh, put our flag up, you know? And that's where I came in and said, you know what, you guys, uh, if you guys want your flag from your nation to be put up in my shop, you're more than welcome to send it to me. And it was my, with pride, I'll put it up in my shop. Like I've done most of them up here already. I'm getting a lot of duplicates, triplets, uh, flags. I overlapped them up as we're gonna run out of space very soon. But you know what? It makes the shop look beautiful, colorful. And of course, we are an international garage on YouTube. And if you look back there in the, in the very corner, you'll see the New Brunswick flag. And that is the flag that I sent Nick back in the fall. Oh yeah, That's a, that flag came in quite a while ago. Yeah. Maybe you can help explain to my viewers a little bit about these heads here. Okay. So I've showed them on camera to you guys. These are the heads that I've come all the way from New Brunswick to pick up. These yes. are J heads. J heads. And yes. maybe, you, Nick, you kind of know the ins and outs a little bit more than I do on these J heads. Maybe you can yeah, explain to them. They're 915 castings. They're J heads. They had them back in the, uh, I believe in the, uh, even in 1970 they had them. And uh, they're not the two two valves. They're the, uh, what size is that? One, uh, nine uh, something like that just under the 202 and they'll do the job because the other later model 360 heads have the uh, smaller valve with a very small intake runner but in this case you have a bigger intake runner with this size valve so if you're looking for a little bit more performance this is the way to go and all you have to do is just clean the bore area keep the same valves do a good valve job put a nice set of valve springs and seals and you're good Vasily's engine, and uh, I'm going to go see if I can find Vasily and put him aside for a couple of minutes and talk a little bit about what it is we actually have here. Tie wraps figure prominently in most good installations. Yes, There's sir. Microphone here. <laughs> tie wraps. Uh, camera over there. Oh yeah. What are these tie wraps? Tie wraps and gaffer tape. <laughs> We're a family channel. We're a family. Do you go family content? Absolutely. Do you, do you cuss and, uh, no. Anybody want to make a prediction on what the big number we're going to see today is? Uh, it's 600, that's what our number is. I'm talking about with the nitrous in it. Oh, with the nitrous. Well, we're hoping to get at least 300 out of it, but I guess we're not. We're going to get close to it, hopefully. And you know what? Stay tuned, we're going to find out. And that's what the diamond's for. So we started putting our bets. I think we should start putting our bets. Okay, let's put our bets. Canadian dollars. <laughs> okay. Let's get the gang in here and get everybody's bets in here. Before we get going with this uh, with this dyno pole, tell me a little bit about the engine and uh, maybe some of the specs for our viewers. Yes, it's a uh, big block Chevy that's a 4 block, but it's built like a 427. The 4.290 bore, 3.760 stroke. Uh, has a Ross Pistons, uh, Howard's cam, Nitrous cam, Eagle crank, and uh, other small stuff in there and we've done you've already done some naturally aspirated poles on it and you pulled what uh 599.9 to be exact so we, we didn't reach that 600 mark no but so today we're doing nitrous yes so we're doing nitrous right now we're gonna do nitrous with the uh race fuel to get our numbers and then i'm gonna we're gonna switch to pump gas nitrous and uh, water metal excellent that the way gonna go in the car do we have uh unleaded fuel the things we do to get the shot. Did I break anything in there? No, 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 we're good. You should see all the lights when they go on right here at the front. Yep. You can see everything from the other side. 
15 torque. That was our trip to uh, Nick's Garage back in uh, 2019, and uh, we had a lot of fun. And great guys, Nick and George and Vasily, um, they were very accommodating and uh, basically treated me like family while I was there. Had a really fun time. Don't forget the Car Guy and Six Fan Show this Thursday evening is over on Grant Tommy's channel. I'm going to put his link up over here. We've got guests from Daily Driven Death Traps. Yeah, that's right. You're not going to want to miss it. Hope you can tune in at 7 o'clock central, 8 eastern, and 9 local time for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show uh, over on Grant Tommy's channel. We have a lot of fun, and you can win some prizes. So I hope you guys tune in and stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.